Hello everyone and welcome to the Captain's Video Weblog. We are Monday, November the 2nd, 2015 and I actually haven't slept since uh, yesterday's video weblog, which was actually 20 hours ago, um, which means that I'm pretty tired and uh, that's not healthy at all because uh, before that I probably slept for 4 hours which is not, uh, I mean, it's really not enough, uh, especially uh, when you have uh, a day of class that starts at 9 and that ends at 7 p.m. Um, I mean, I could have slept because I, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna work on some data that I have to do for a project. Turns out that data wasn't needed. Uh, and another thing, if I hadn't worked on this data, uh, I would have slept and man, uh, I would have had my, uh, my morning truly ruined, uh, because, you know, I was still, I, I was awake for three hours already when I learned that, uh, Miyu Matsuki passed away. Um, for those who don't know who uh, Miyu Matsuki is, uh, well, was, she she was a seiyu, a voice actor uh, for anime. And uh, you know, on, on A there's this thread that's just been unstickied. That's really impressive to see it just drown page after page uh, it's 4,657 4, posts that's I mean that's really fucking amazing because you know in a way it's not that surprising Miyu Matsuki she she was in so many stuff that A liked she was in Hidamari Sketch, she was in uh, Tamayura, Maria Holic, uh, or uh, more recently Shimoneta. Uh, well, I, I don't like only Shimoneta. It's actually her last role, and she died of uh, acute. P uh, whoa, I was going to say the P. Uh, acute pneumonia. Um, and that's, that's really terrible because. As someone who suffers from uh, from asthma, I I understand that you could die of that, you know. Uh, I I've had bronchitis. I've had pneumonia, um, but not acute, obviously. Uh, I mean, it didn't hit really hard. Even though, uh, I gotta say, I always felt, you know, a bit uh, in debt about uh, Miyu Matsuki because um, one of the first anime that I watched, that I really binge-watched, marathoned, whatever you want to call it, uh, that I watched from one, one end to another uh, without uh, watching it, you know, weekly. Uh, was Hayore Nyaruko san, uh, where she voiced uh, Kuko or Kafuko or Kafuga. Well, she was she was the the girl on fire basically. Uh, to me, she was best girl, and it's really I mean, until then I didn't understand people who had waifus and all that jazz because it felt so weird being you know. Um, having to to go so far into escapism just for the the just to have an anchor and uh, suddenly there's this character who who is voiced by a an actual woman and her voice is well i mean it's arousing uh you uh, there's really nothing you can say about it, she, Miyamatsuki, 
despite the fact that she apparently was a, a virgin, had that kind of voice that, you know, you f when you heard it, and I mean, I was usually watching that with my, with headphones on. So it really went uh, directly into my ears. So um, I guess that adds to the thing. But when she said, when she, she said Shonen, it, I, I don't know, I felt always a bit funny. Um, but yeah, uh, she also voiced uh, Hisui in Melty Ground and uh, later in, um, in uh, Carnival Phantasm. I think she was uh, slated to be, to be Hisui in the Tsukihime remake. Even though there's no Tsukihime anime to begin with, so why would it be a remake? Except that fucking Nasu is taking his time. Um, and uh, that was before... Um, before uh, Type Moon went out of the, the whole doujin, um, the whole circle uh, thing, before it became legit. Um, that she voiced um, Hisui in Melty Blood. Uh, there's been such an outpour of of just so many people saying that she was a great person to work with. Um, I'm actually afraid that Kana Asumi, because um, that can I ask me, despite the fact that she has a husband and she she has loved ones, you know, um, she apparently hasn't shown up to, to work today, which is really understandable. Uh, but apparently she was also really m very much aware that she had died, because she died uh, last, last um, Tuesday, uh, on October the 27th. Um, and her agency, the the guy, the people who who employed her, uh, just released the info today, this early, very early this morning, and I was like, well, that's one way to start a week, huh? Uh, and I mean, there's so much stuff that just, you know, you you read everything that's surrounding all the news that surrounds her death and her condition. And you're like, yeah, oh god, I'm suddenly feeling bad for being so nihilistic. You know, like, on on her very last uh, post, uh, blog post, that she wrote to herself, because obviously now on her blog there's, there's uh, a post about condolences and all that stuff. The very last post she wrote herself was when she celebrated her 38th, her 38th birthday, birthday, she was only 38. And, uh, you know, one could say that she set up a death flag, but I'm pretty sure that she actually really knew that she wasn't going to make it. Even though apparently she recorded stuff recently, I mean, everyone knew that she was going to be a character in the in a light novel adaptation. Uh, I think it's it's called Hundred. Um, and w well, people knew that she was going to voice a character in in Hundred. So uh, maybe she was recording stuff, and uh, you know, suddenly you're like, wow! Everyone's saying she was such a great person. And, um, yeah, she was the senpai of uh, Asumi Kana, um, which, is, which is why, uh, I mean, we could be really worried about, uh, about Asumi, because, well, I mean, she was, uh, Miu was very, very close to Asumi. They were in a lot of stuff together, and... Um, Obviously, when you see all that, all the, those those tweets, those those blog entries saying, "Wow, she was such a sweet person," uh, you know, like what 
really made me made me feel like shit was first when uh, Kana Ueda, who voices Tosaka Tosaka Rin in um, well in in Fate Stay Night, but also in uh, Fate Kalei Liner uh, Prismaelia, where um, Miyu Matsuki voiced uh, Sapphire. Uh, voiced, uh, she said that she couldn't be the the straight man to Hisui anymore, or be scolded by Sapphire. And then Junichi Suwabe, who is Archer, said that uh, they were apparently recording something. They were supposed to be recording something, and she wasn't there. And he really s he tweeted that and said, "Damn it." The tears won't stop, and you know, like it's all s so heart wrenching. Like in her last web uh, blog post, uh, back to it, she celebrated her birthday kind of against the the opinion of her of her doctor. Uh, she said that if she were to be to be well again, she would work hard to be married, and that's like, oh god, if she had had someone in her life, maybe she wouldn't have overworked him or herself to the point that she might have died because, well, there was this role, and I mean, you gotta you gotta earn your your money and. Uh, I mean that's fucked up. Uh, it's this till the end um, kind of uh, kind of thought process. I, I I don't understand it. I probably will never understand it as I'm really someone lazy. But yeah, uh, but that that's devastating devastating news. And I, I mean, I, I can feel nothing somehow, except that I really feel like shit, and uh, I'll probably take a lot of stuff just to, you know, put my mind away from that. She, she was in so many stuff. Like someone just posted on the the formerly stickied. Um, uh, thread all of her roles. She was in Aria. She was in in Claymore. She was in the Capo, Dog Days, uh, So Cute No Fafner. Apparently, she was in Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, that might have been a you know a a small role. She was. Um, in Hayate no Gotoku and she wasn't a main character in most of those anime but she was there and she had a very recogni recognizable voice which is probably why Sibylink just announced that uh, they are uh, you know putting um, the the whole uh, Prismalia uh, Dry, I think it is. Yeah, um, on on hold until they can cast someone else as Sapphire. Um, apparently, she was in Nanoha, which is also something that they really like on on A. She was in Pony Pony Dash. Um, Soko no strain. Yeah, that I mean, there's there's really, there, I mean, there's been stuff happening all day around me. Like, uh, just out there, uh, uh, we're in warning, and I'm afraid that I that uh, there might, if there's too much rain, there might be a little flood, and there could be water entering my apartment. Uh, but I mean. It's someone that I don't know for real, 
and at the same time, she, I I heard her voice in so many stuff that I watched, and she, 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 I heard a voice in one of the first series I actually wanted to see uh, went uh, went just forward and downloaded it. And the worst thing is, last week, around the day the, the, the report said she she died, I I wanted to listen to some songs of uh, of Hayore Nyaruko san and that's really, you know, there's this kind of coincidences, that's fucked up, really. And, uh, just, it's, it's a terrible thing. And I, I can I cannot talk about anything but that, you know she was such a she she loved life so much and I'm like I hate life you know you know like this character in the Welcome to the NHK the main character the he says this thing that really that really applies to me sometimes like he's tired of being alive but death dying is also quite the hassle. You know, just, you just, someone, sometimes, want to disappear. You know, just pop away from existence. That's, that, I mean, if you could do that, that would be fucking great. Huh, oh, I'm tired of living. You know, because it's such complicated stuff, ending your life. Um... Because you have to fight your inner um, um, survival instinct, and uh, to the point that you actually can kill yourself. But yeah, and I, I am still here. I am probably one of the most negative thinking person people on this planet, and. She loved life so much. She was already always having this fucking, you know, optimistic uh, view on things. Like, you know, when she voiced Anna in in Shimoneta uh, in Shimoseka, she knew that she was on her last legs, and still, well, she went around and said do things and and said rude words and just had a blast probably and you know everyone wants thinks that you know you should smile for her like people at the at the very very that most recent Tamayura event because there's still two movies that are supposed to come out and in one of those movies the character voiced by by Miyu was getting married was going to get married and you know like I cannot appreciate the irony of the situation this is this is way too much for me um, like I, I it's it, it's really fucking me up but somehow the tears won't come you know uh, apparently this is not cathartic enough for me to just woo, let it go uh, and like she was smiling and she was saying hey let's all work hard till the end of, of Tamayura and people around her were crying uh, around uh, Kanaasumi people were crying and because they knew that that Miu was dead and you know she was she said that she was glad to be born like into what she was and she said just thanks a million like pfft, how i mean that's that could be this fucking campy that's over dramatic but at, at the end of the day you like yeah you t please don't go please just be f some kind of ruse just to 
to tell uh, Kinoko to write faster his fucking uh, Tsukihime remake. I'm, I'm just feeling like shit right now. So anyway. Oh yeah, and I was feeling so, so glad before. You know, because I've been, uh, uh, it literally has been yeah, I'm going to take a shower, I'm gonna eat, and bam, it's 5 a.m. And, uh, oh, well, let's check Facebook, and first post I see, Matsuki Miyu is dead, and I'm like, yeah, that's, there's a picture of uh, Anna Nishiko, Nishin, Mishiki no Miya and uh, Kuko, and I'm like, did she voice both of them? I, I'm looking up her, looking her up on Google, and suddenly, Oh God, she's dead. Uh, and I was really happy before going to the shower because mathematically A is is through. You know we have nine points after the after the, our uh, first three matches, um, and our contenders, which are uh, ADV and uh, S4S cannot push us out of the of the whole thing because we have nine points s4s has six points uh, and uh, only one match to go so they can go f for the nine points and adv has two match to go and has f three points uh, which means that if they win the two matches, they get to the nine. They they have nine points, which is which is which could be bad, because A is going to play against three, but three is not a good team. Uh, so obviously we can think that we could win all the games, which would be very great. Um, but at any rate. We're out of the group stage, and that's really fucking good. And one can only hope that SP just linger in the uh, in the babies while we go back to the to the elite cups, because I'm sick and tired of this together forever. You know, fuck off, SP. Don't let go. Just please. Go away, you're not funny anymore. And you know, I'm taking a shower and I'm like, whoo, Jesus Christ, this is all good. Uh, while eating some rice and some chicken at 4 a.m., I'm watching a, uh, a podcast about sports and uh, go on Facebook. Ah, oh, this is, oh God. I go on A and the, the thread just got stickied at a thousand and a uh, a thousand and five hundred posts and I'm like well I'm going to see that and I'm nearly no not even nearly I got late for class because I was like no this is not possible I was in a state of shock like some pretty much everyone in this thread because she is a staple of uh, Tight Moon stuff and Tight Moon is one of the staples of A because Typhoon has been here for the whole existence of the board. Uh, so uh, yeah, and I mean there are some people who are just yeah. Everyone will remember her as that crazy silver-haired uh, student council president. How new are you? I watched Nyaruko-san two years ago, and I know that I if I remember. Uh, Miyu Maski for a role, it will be Kuko. Not, not because she's best girl and uh, Anna is pretty much a rapist and uh, Kujo Senpai, Kujo, Kujo, well, uh, um, Setsugen no Ao, 
is a much better girl because she's actually too pure. Uh, but yeah, everyone is is so fucking devastated by the the loss of uh, of Miu Miu Matsuki. Um, it's like yeah, uh, even without empathy, you you can't just be like yeah, well. I didn't know her. Why should I feel for that? You know, like you, you cannot really be. Um, oh, uh, page eight. Well, it won't break five thousand posts. And you know. When you see that that amount of just of love, I I would say for someone you don't even know, just well f for someone who's not even that remarkable of a say you. I mean, she's got a unique voice. I would I would I will say it again. She's got the kind of voice that gives you a boner. Um, but yeah, uh, just think about when, I don't know, Yui Hoye or, uh, I don't know, oh, that's, I mean, that's going to be more difficult uh, to, to have uh, just positive thoughts. But when uh, Hanakana is going to die, if Fortune is still around at, by that time, because I, I wish that they live the longest possible. Like, you know, there are some seiyus that are literally hanging by a thread, like Yukarin. Or, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't going to say Nana Mizuki, but Nana Mizuki seems to have gotten pretty well over what held her. So, yeah. But when another very popular seiyu is going to die, this is going to be... You know, you, you, it's going to be such a a sausage fest. Like it's not going to be pretty. that's just I guess how things are you you don't think that you know those people who are super popular just can disappear like that and uh, then it happens for something like a pneumonia and uh, they didn't treat uh, uh, when it was still sort of you know when you could salvage something. You know, sometimes uh, it gives you a, a whole other look on uh, her performance as Anna in Shimonseka. Was her painting just part of the role, or was she having was uh, Miu Matsuki having uh, you know troubles to breathe? Well, we'll never know. Oh yeah, you know that's that's some some stuff you just can't can do can deal with it. So uh, yeah. The only thing I can say is uh, well. kind of auto play yeah what can I say sleep well sweet princess that's pretty much everything you know anyway thanks for watching see you tomorrow
I'm gonna sleep a bit. I probably need to. Bye bye.